may look and sound a little different, but the message of Reading Rainbow Live is the same as the original. And action. Reading can take you anywhere and help you be anything. Well, now we're in a clubhouse with the rainbows and they're taking us into their world. It's great to create. Delivering that message, music, it starts with a thought in your mind. and a diverse cast of young performers known as the Rainbows. Amy Guglielmo is the creative director. We really wanted to make sure that we kids could see themselves in the Rainbows. Representing their viewers is a responsibility the Rainbows, including Kendall Joseph, Isabella Wager, and Eli Hamilton, take to heart. We have this opportunity to give voices to children and people of color. I think it's just so, it's Sorry. gorgeous. No, it's, it's okay. I, think, I, I really think it's so special because as a kid, I was always wondering when am I going to see myself on television and now I'm here giving that voice to other people, you know? Girl, don't cry. Oh my god. But Bella, you're getting emotional listening to them talking about yeah. this. What, what are you thinking about? I think it's been a long time coming for this, you know? And I think it's time for a lot of us to step back and give the space to other people. Hi, Tanny. Hi, LeVar. Beginning in 1983 with, with beloved host LeVar Burton, Reading Rainbow was a fixture in households and classrooms across the United States for more than two decades. Hi, boys and girls. It was created to address what was known as the summer loss phenomenon, the idea that kids lose some of their reading abilities during the summer break from school. Oh, Max, my favorite thing to read is music. This new iteration addresses loss of a different kind. The call to action was the pandemic. And Executive producer Stephen Beer took the idea to Nancy Hammond, who oversees the Reading Rainbow brand. There's no magic book that tells you how we should act during a pandemic. And it just felt like bringing something as simple and basic like books and music and, and dance and adventures was just a great escape. So simple but really so important at this particular time. Take a look, it's in a book. The new program won't air on PBS like its predecessor, but its format will be familiar to the remote learning generation. Viewers can watch Reading Rainbow live online. It's created to not be a passive activity where kids are just watching something on a screen. It's active. After the kids view the event, they're gonna be singing those songs because it's gonna stick with them. So we're not gonna do the music cue for this. Director Batsheva Gez brought that vision to life. You know, when I walked in here, I was like, I want to go there. I want to go over here. I want to play yeah. with that guitar. I want to ride that surfboard. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the idea, is to create a space that's like homey and genuine and earnest so that the viewers of the show just want to participate and be part of it and part of the clubhouse. Even before I saw the clubhouse, I wanted to participate. They're going to have a rotating cast of hosts, but they are still looking for some more. So, so Nate, I, did, I raised my hand too. I was like, me? <laughs> the team took notice and invited me to appear as a special guest. And this is the book that I am sharing today. It's a responsibility I take to heart too. To know that you're going to be part of the education of young people, what goes through your mind when you think about that? I feel like our imagination is like our greatest superpower when you think about it. And books are like food for your imagination. Reading books when I was younger, it really helped me to like dream and believe that I could be anything that I wanted to be, you know. One of my goals with this show is to give that message to the younger generation, you know. Vladimir Dutier, CBS News.